going to the next Never stop, never stop, always on attack Locked in the path, never getting off track Whenever oh, yeah. I'm back, attitude is bad And I got friends no! Never make it up, never make it up Fight this right, I'm never kidding Don't get the band, it's got to go down the line and that Monday. It's early. We're up. What's up? I've got both legs, both arms, both eyes. Feeling good. I slept seven hours and one minute. That's after ref from this. That's after it. So I really slept like eight. Bro, it's seven quality. What's good? Welcome. Dunk life daily. I said this yesterday. I dunked yesterday. Actually, it was a lot of fun. The day before I dunked as well. We're not dunking every day. Go listen to yesterday's to understand what I'm talking about. Dunk Life Daily's progress daily. It's energy every morning. God, I have a lot today. I dreamt about dunking. <laughs> I dreamt about having low rim posters, like where we just took turns trying to dunk on each other on uh, low rims. And then I had a dream that I also was in a cabin I went to in Alaska. It was like an Airbnb. And I had to like take care of it. or something. I went to like check on it to make sure it was like up to standards and there was a lot of people in it. And then we started. I started like talking to all the people. Then it turned into a restaurant. So you know how dreams work. Anyway, what's good? It's a Monday. Um, I was thinking, like, should I make this a little more structured? And I was like, no. That was my answer if, uh, in conclusion. But I'm gonna. Tr- I might think about it. Maybe some weeks do like series. I, I, if I learn anything from my YouTube, it's like I gotta go with my stream of consciousness. What I think about thoughts, uh, projections, um, mental fortitude. That's what I wanted to talk about. Mental, mentally strong. Monday is what I think I wanted to do because there's so many times where you think about something and if you just think about it in a different way, it could change your whole day, your whole perspective, which changes your energy, which then actually makes that come true. We talk a lot about – we talk about it's me, it's me. But we as a group, as a community, discuss the perspective and the mental things you think about because – for example, I could think about my dunks and be like, uh, oh, I'm like just picture, oh, I, can't, I didn't do well today. I could have done this. It's been so long since I've done this. It's been this many years. It's so tough for me to do this. I should be able to do this. And that's how my mindset was. But if you think about like, oh, I'm, and you picture yourself landing and you're like, man, that, that's so fun to hit. I'm so almost like uh, psychotic, like you already hit it. Like you're just like out of your mind. But, oh man, that was a great dunk I already hit. You just pretend like you hit it already. It changes your state of being. It's like you – you, you actually change your physiology. So it's not just like you change your mindset and then you're, you, you're good to go. It's that I, what I like about the concreteness of the visualization is that if you think about landing a dunk or like dunking on someone, you'll actually get like sweaty palms or whatever excites you. You get sweaty palms. So if you think that you already achieved it, you have that sense of accomplishment and your body feels like it's already done it. Just like when you've done something once for the first time, they call it open the floodgates. And what that means is that it opens up the, the levees in your mind. Your mind is like Louisiana, I guess, and just starts flooding in. And the next thing you want, next thing you know, you're fucking drowning in your own accomplishment. What? I don't know what's happening this morning, but feeling really good. The other thing I wanted to talk about, oh, I did my little mobile podcast yesterday, if you saw that. And this was a perfect example of why I say just get started, just um, be mentally strong to do things and set your set goals and really push yourself to do them um, for this reason. So I did this podcast at my friend's, my friend's house. I woke up, I'm like, I was tired, I didn't feel like doing it, I was rushed, but I brought all my equipment. It's not that much, it's just my laptop, interface, and camera. Um, so I set it up really quick, I did it, it was a cool setting. My boy John's the artist. He had all this amazing art. It's such a cool background. I would have loved to have him on, but he wasn't available at this time. But the point is, is I did it. It came out okay. Um, I was happy with the content. It was short, but I was just happy I did it. And now, talk. this is what this is about. The, the dunk and the life is what's what's going on with your awareness. That's why I was the number one DLD principle is that awareness. is A lot of things are harder to do or they cause more anxiety when they're unknown. 
And as soon as you do them and get started, it becomes known. And you're, that's what your subconscious likes. It likes that known feeling. That's why it's like scarier to do something, even if it's going to help you if you've never done it before, than it is if you just – that's why people stay stagnant. They just stick with the current pain. They, they choose current pain or struggle over unknown pain or struggle. Even if that pain or struggle is not real, it's just like you don't know if it's going to be – there's a tiny chance. But most likely it's going to be pleasure and comfort. They avoid it. So I did the mobile podcast. Now next time I go down there because I go visit my friend a lot is – Hopefully he's available, but now I set this up and I feel more professional. I feel like ready to go. I feel like I know how it's going to sound. I know it's going to be set up properly so I can be ready the next time. And now I'm not like stressing over like, would it come out good? Whatever. I had weird stress or weird anxiety about like, ah, this is not going to work. I don't know what to say and all those type of things. But now since I've already done it, I'm re- I feel like I got the ball, ball rolling in that direction. So that's what, I'm, that's what feels good. And – Speaking of yesterday's dunk training, as I, I went in, I drove home three hours, went straight to the gym because it's dunk life, obviously. Started pulling out my camera. There's a bunch of people I didn't know in that gym. A few people know me to dunk, so it makes it a little easier. Plus, I can dunk well, so that makes it so much easier when I pull out my camera. But even before I was dunking, I pull out my tripod, set that bad boy up on the court. Obviously, respect the gym's rules, but they don't they, they allow you to film, I think. But pull it out and like a few people asked me if I'm a YouTuber and I said yes. And when I say that, I wish it was like means that I, that's like my job. But I, I am a YouTuber. I think everybody's a YouTuber if you create videos, especially if you love to do it. You're not just uh, uh, making a one-off video. You're just like throwing something up from your family vacation in friggin' uh, Cancun in 2012. What? But the point is I'm, I make, I mean, I'm a YouTuber. And uh, – But the thing is, what I was trying to say is that since I pulled out the tripod, acted like I'm doing it, talking to the camera, not giving a fuck, people realize that and they they ask me that they don't have, nobody's asked me that in a really long time if I'm a YouTuber. So I think it was just energy. I I acted like I wasn't like, I got to make my YouTube video. Let's do it. It puts it out there. And then they got hyped. It was so much fun. That video is going to be awesome. That video is coming out today. I'm going to try to get it up tonight. I just dunked a little bit. It was supposed to be my dunk day, but I was pretty tired. I dunked the day before pretty well. So it was just about – it was more about like a workout, had some really good max jumps. This upcoming week, I think my boy is coming to town. I'm not going to mention it yet. You guys probably don't know him actually, but he's a really dope dude. Um, so it doesn't matter if I mention him. His name is Justin Sakari if you see him. But he's um, – he might come down. We're hopefully going to have a dunk session this weekend. And if maybe with Isaiah as well, if, if we link up schedules, I don't know. I think he's dead actually from all the contests. Point is, I got videos coming soon. Super pumped about it. And um, back to the Mentally Strong Monday, what, what I was thinking about during the session is that tired of doing this. It was like, should I should I go home and rest? Should I do this? And then the, the mental side of it was just like, let's just see what I can do. And that's how I've had my best sessions, best workouts is just going in there, really focusing on listening to my body and being – and being in tune with how I feel so that way I don't overdo it because I'd much rather um, add the stimulus but not burn myself out because that burnt out feeling is just going to lead to like two days of no, um, no progress. So um, stay strong with it. Keep going. Just keep doing something little that it gets so hard mentally when you're just – Oh, the other thing I want to say about mentally is that everything starts in your mind, everything physical. So that's why when I go into a session thinking, you know what, everything's okay. It's like it starts with those thoughts of just let it be easy. Just do the little bit. Just warm up. Just touch the rim, whatever it is. Because as you start doing it, as you start I, – I'm way looser. I'm not like – there's no pressure on me, which is not tensing me up and all those type of physiology type fucking factors. You get what I'm saying? Stay strong with your mind and every single thing you start with is your mind. Everything you do, I mean, you starts in your mind. You wake up this morning. What's the first thing you think about? Is it something positive? Last night I was watching some – I was watching Black Mirror because it was an episode I missed and they started to talk about murder and they showed the lady's cut throat. I'm like, I don't think I want this going into my subconscious when I go to sleep. So I started watching some YouTube, some – oh, some Rick and Morty clips that are hilarious because I wanted to think about space and laughter, which are two of my favorite topics. So I'm like, and you're about to go to sleep. So I'm like, that goes into my subconscious because it's closer to the time my, my brain goes into those brain waves. Keep learning. Keep filling your mind with the good stuff. If you hear those little thoughts, work on them immediately. Don't wait so it becomes a known that you can work through it. But also just know when those thoughts come that you can work through it. There's always a way. Try to focus on the positive. Stay strong to focus on the positive. Stay strong to make sure you're using all those little quirks of your subconscious to your advantage. Bring them to the conscious so that way you're in control of them and they're not just patterns that you just go through life doing. 
and you're just freaking cycling. We're trying to make the most out of this life. Let's go. Dunk Life Daily is out. Only one last thing to freaking say, and that's toodaloo. Hey, that's Dunk Life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh.